Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new deck just released. It's called Heavenly Angel Oracle Deck and it's written by Anjami Rabio Rabiolo. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Anjami Rabiolo. That's my best guess. And the illustration is by Irish Biasio. And it is published by U.S. Games. And a big shout out to U.S. Games for sending this out to me to review. Uh, in the back it says, It is said that our lives are gover governed by a powerful army of celestial beings who protect us, advise, advise us, and give us the most suitable tools for our spiritual and physical growth. You just need to say their names to ask for protection and help. Angels are beings of pure spirit who bring their messages to earth. We can access these messages through the stack of oracle cards. Each card represents an angel from one of the major religious traditions and has a unique meaning to inspire us and help us grow includes 50 cards and 64 page guidebook and there's a few pictures of the cards the size do have thumb hole cut out it is hard case two part box just plain white inside here's the guidebook and we'll take a look at the guidebook more in depth after we look at the cards here are the cards oh the bottom of the box is light blue all right and here are the backs. It is not gilded and it is papery. So papery uh, doesn't feel plasticky at all. And comparing it to a traditional plaid back tarot card size, it is a little taller and a little wider. And comparing it to an Archangel Oracle. So it's the same length at, as the Hay House Archangel Oracle, uh, just a little skinnier width-wise. All right, so that gives you an idea. And then cardstock, it's a little on the thin side. There is a core in there. It is flexible, bendable, pliable, as you can see. So let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look. And the name of the angel is at the bottom. So we have Ambriel as Azariel. I don't even know um, all of uh, the names of these angels. Azrael, Barbiel, I guess it's in alphabetical order. Barchiel, Binael, Kamael, Chokatora, Chava. Kia or Quia, Duth or Duth, Ejibiel, Eiel. I'm sorry, apologies if I'm not pronouncing this correctly. I don't know all the names of all these angels. Fanuel, Gabriel, that we're familiar with, Geniel. Ha Mia. I didn't realize there were so many angels. Haniel. Hamael. Hesidiel. Isilel. Israfil. Jabamaya. Kobabel. Oh, I like her energy. Is she playing a harp? Not sure. I like the energy of this. Have to look her up. Lauvia, Lacabel, Manakel, Menadel, Menatron. He's more common, more popular. Of course, Mikael, also known as Michael, the one who defeated uh, Satan, Lucifer. There he is. I think he's one of the most popular angels there is, if not the most popular, Muriel. Namimia. Nitahaya. Omyael. Poyel. Raphael. He's 
is the healing angel. Raziel, Rayel, Ridwan, Satchiel, Sendafon, Serkael, Sehia, Tagriel, Omabel, Uriel, Vasariya, Yeuha, Yeuaya, Yeilel, Yelahaya, Zorio, and here in the backs one more time. All right, let's shuffle real quick and see how they shuffle. They shuffle fine overhand. Easily, effortlessly. Ooh, Raphael, healing angel. Seemed like he wanted to come out. Very nice. They ripple shuffle very nice. All right. They shuffle nicely. So no difficulty shuffling. Let's take a look at the guidebook. It's a little harder cover. Let's zoom back in. Then we have Heavenly Angel Oracle contents. And then introduction. How to use this deck. Key of the symbols used, powers, classification in Catholic tradition, classification according to apocryphal texts and ancient as astrological, theological, theosophical, and esoteric traditions, including evocative magic, indigenous culture, and mysterious regions, classification in Islamic tradition, classification Jewish tradition, belonging to the list of guardian angels according to the Judeo-Christian classification. Oh, that's why there's so many angels, because it includes all the angels of all the different religions, and that's nice. Now we know what each symbol represents on the card, right? Are they on the card? Well, this one doesn't have it. Maybe it's just in the guidebook, I don't know. But we have them here in the guidebook. Uh, the cards. And then you get a small little color picture of each card. Yeah, so the symbols are in the guidebook. They're not on the card themselves. It would have been nice if they would put it on the card themselves. Yeah, it's not. they're not on the card themselves. Although... Some of them have a symbol above, but they're not the, these symbols here. So, but they are in the guidebook. Throne, Zodiac, Angel, assorted with Gemini. So that's why there's a Gemini symbol above. Oh, so they do list the powers. Makes wishes come true, aids in growth and communication, helps us deal with grief and loss. Develops patient, helps to resolve problems. Very interesting. What was the one that caught my eye that looks like she was playing the harp? I just should have made a mental note. Was she in the P's? Was it in the P section? She, I was thinking of her. I don't know. I, I didn't make a mental note of which angel that was. It was sort of towards the end, right? It looks like she was playing the harp. I'm just curious. Since I said I liked her energy. The Metatron. Here it is. Koba, Koba Bell. Characteristic watching angel, according to the first section of the book of Enoch, 
Knowledge has allowed man to evolve from the dawn of time. It is the food of our mind and spirit. The answers to the questions we ask ourselves allow us to grow and face anew more complex questions. Let me read that again. The answers to the questions we ask ourselves allow us to grow and face new, more complex questions. Knowledge does not just feel reason. Every notion lets us know something more about ourselves, too. Koba Bell stimulates our thirst for knowledge. Yep, that's definitely me. I do thirst for knowledge. I love to learn. So that we can grow by giving ourselves the opportunity to be of help to others and to the world. Powers brings knowledge to people. Oh, no wonder I was attracted to her. Because according to my uh, Chinese astrological sign, I thirst knowledge as well. Very interesting. So if you resonate with angels, you like angels, or you want to start working with angels, uh, you may connect and resonate with this deck. There are a lot of uh, angel decks out there, but this is the newest just uh, release one that's just been released so it may be something uh, you want to check out so if it is something you are interested in uh, as usual I will put the link in the description uh, underneath the uh, video and um, a big shout out and thank you to U.S. Games again for sending this out to me to review. I hope you guys enjoy that and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.